At the National Assembly, following up on its three-day policy speeches, the main opposition Minju Party of Korea laid out its policies for Parliament's new regular session. There, the party's newly elected chief gave all she had on the importance of revitalizing the local economy. Shin Zemin with the details. Her speech painted a dire picture of the country's economy. Korea's main opposition, Minja Party of Korea's new leader, Chumi E, stressed the need to breathe life into the local economy, taking issue with President Park Geun Hye's current economic policies. Calling for change, the new Minju leader proposed an emergency economic meeting of the major parties and the president, saying they all need to come together to remedy the current economic situation, which has seen growth stuck in the 2 percent. Chu said the government has not done enough to improve the livelihoods of the people. The current economic paradigm focused on conglomerates should change to help ordinary people instead. Entering the fourth year of the current administration, this is the last chance the government has to save the local economy. Concerned that neglect of the country's snowballing household debt could bankrupt the nation, Chu called on the president and the prime minister to directly take care of the issue themselves. Chu also criticized the government's plan to deploy the U.S. missile defense system THAAD, calling it useless. Diplomatically speaking, this advanced missile defense system has the potential only to make our partners, namely China and Russia, to turn their backs on us. Her comments on THAAD mark a significant change in stance for the Minja Party, which had previously been more or less neutral on the issue. Looking ahead, the opposition party leader promised that in the 20th National Assembly, she'll work to get rid of political divisions within and amongst parties, starting with her own Minju Party, and work to become a model of rational politics. Shin Se-min, Arirang News.